Math 083, Final Exam Review, Problem 20, Parts A, B, C, and D. In Part A, we have the square root of negative 36. The easiest way to think of it is as follows. Since the square root of 36 equals 6, it follows that the square root of negative 36 is 6 times i. If we are to explain it a little bit more rigorously, we would do so as follows. Negative 36 is 36 times negative 1. So we have that the square root of 36 times the square root of negative 1. The square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of negative 1 is defined to be the complex number i. We can suppress the multiplication dot and write as our final answer 6i. In part B we have negative square root of negative 49. This negative sign means negative 1 times the radical. And square root of negative 49 is 7i. So multiplying negative 1 and 7 we get negative 7 times i. Or more simply, negative 7i. In part C, we have the square root of negative 80. Now the largest perfect square that divides 80 is 16. So we have the square root of 16 times 5, because 16 times 5 is 80, times negative 1. Indeed, 16 times 5 times negative 1 is equal to negative 80. We write the square root of 16 times the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. We have 4 times the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1, which is defined to be i. This is typically written in the final form 4i square root of 5. Let's move to part d. The largest perfect square that divides 45 is 9. Square root of negative 45 is therefore square root of 9 times square root of 5 times square root of negative 1. Again, notice that the product negative 1 times 5 times 9 is negative 45. Let's simplify the square root of negative 20. The largest perfect square that divides 20 is 4. So the square root of negative 20 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. That gives us the square root of negative 20. Filling in the rest of the players, so we have 2 times 3 times the square root of 5 times i. Square root of negative 1 is defined to be i plus 3 times 2 times the square root of 5 times i. We have 6i square root of 5 plus 6i square root of 5. These are like terms because they both involve factors of i square root of 5. And our answer is an i square root of 5 term. We add 6 plus 6, that gives us 12, and our answer is 12i square root of 5.